Hey friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Grace Joy and today I'm showing you my few Disney limited edition dolls. And as you can see here, I really only have four since I don't really collect the limited edition dolls since they are pretty pricey. So these dolls I got um, way after they were released at a considerable discount. So let's go ahead and get started. So just for comparison, here's a typical like Barbie size doll. And if I put it right beside it, you could see that the limited edition dolls are larger. Today we're going to be covering the Disney Parks Diamond Collection Limited Edition Aurora doll. Then I'll show you my limited edition one of 4000 Cinderella doll limited edition one of 4000 Alice from the live action film. I did a review of her years ago, like four years ago. I can link that video in the description box. So let's start with the Aurora. And so as you can see, she has like her long strawberry blonde hair. She also has like this very satiny gloves with pearls and the bodies of the dress it has a heart shape. She has her golden necklace and she has rooted eyelashes and she has her golden crown. It has the Disney logo. If you can see in the back, you could see a little bit of her castle in the background. And I really like how long and curly her hair is on this doll and how like sparkly her whole dress is. On the front here, it says Disney Parks Diamond Castle Collection. So here's the back of the box. It's a concept art of Aurora, pink outlines. On the top of the clear box is this satiny pink yarn so that you can lift up the doll. Let's take a look at her face. So she has a very light blush, pink lipstick, and I like the color of her eyes and her signature curl on her hair. She also has this off-shoulder shimmery material that her dress is made of. It's our beautiful Princess Aurora. Let's move on to one of my favorite stories and characters of all time, Cinderella. So the box is really huge. It's hard to fit it in my camera. Here on the bottom, it says limit edition, one of 4,000 Cinderella. And as you can see, the golden filigrees here on the side with golden butterflies. And that design also continues on on these white outlined filigrees on right on the box more white butterflies see the top more golden design this says disney store on the top left it's six years old and above it has this golden satin ribbon on the top for handle and then before i take this plastic off just want to show you the back real fast so here it says Cinderella, Disney store proudly presents the worldwide release of the Disney film collection Cinderella doll and it has this golden ribbon here as well. So let's take off this like covering right here. Here's Cinderella semi out of the box and let's just go ahead and take a overall look of this doll. Now this doll, when they made it, they did kind of this like shimmery style to it. I don't know, it's okay with me. Some people didn't like like the oily look, but her face is really beautiful. And her rooted eyelashes, you can see her mouth and lips are close. She has the jewels on the top of her hair. And her hair is long, blonde, and flowy. So of course in the movie, it wasn't this long but I like that they kind of exaggerated in this doll since it's a limited edition doll. This is her certificate of authenticity. This doll is 1,253 of 4,000. The background has these like punched out 3D golden butterflies. The one of her shoes is right here. It's part of the display. And so if you look under, let's see, let's see she only has one shoe right there. So on her dress, she has these beautiful butterflies all over the shoulder area. So these butterflies are jeweled and they are made of plastic and they're sewn on on here. Her body is shimmery. Yeah, this is a two-piece dress. 
but I'm not gonna take her out but I know someone did that on YouTube and it's two-piece so her beautiful blue shimmery dress is also jeweled all over and as you can see it has this top part it has a second purplish layer it has a blue layer and then a light blue satin material so four layers total to give that like iridescent look okay never mind there was a fifth layer this tool material right here so there five there's five layers so she doesn't have any accessories no earrings either and no necklaces but she does have like shimmer on her um, shoulder area right here her beautiful brown eyes nice light makeup i also like that it also comes with a doll stand so that is cinderella from the live action film so here's alice from alice through the looking glass live action film so the box is this pinkish color with this pattern right down here with the A on it and the silver like sign right here, limited edition one of 4,000. Back up here on the top of the box has these like ornamental like design with different colors on it and gold and green outlines. It says Disney Store. Just like the Cinderella live action, this one has a ribbon on top, satin ribbon. Here is the back of the box, Disney Alice Through the Looking Glass. Let's go ahead and take her out. Here's her certificate of authenticity. She is 2,507 of 4,000. It comes in this hard stock paper and these designs on the four corners of it. So the background of the box is pretty plain com uh, compared to the Cinderella one. This one, it just like, it looks like she's just in a hallway. So her face is pretty movie accurate. She has very, very light makeup. She does have her rooted eyelashes and light lipstick. She has a fan on her hair with green jewels on it. She has these curly blonde hair, very beautiful. And then she has this top part of her dress. This one is made of plastic. And has these golden tassels now her dress on this one is amazingly very very detailed as you can see these are embroidered with butterflies vines of flowers um, butterfly over here too blue white yellow flowers same thing on the sleeves so this doll is so well made it's so detailed her pants are loose just like how it's supposed to simulate like in um, an Asian themed outfit because she in the movie she came from like that part of the world from her travels she's holding the golden ball is for time or something like that anyway so here's the inside of the sleeves it's purplish and satin and orange over here inside now her shoes are also very unique for that time period black and white with white dots right there you can see so this is alice also have to point out that just behind these embroidered flowers and butterflies over here on the purple part of the outfit you can see outlines of i don't know if that's supposed to be mad hatter's hat or the um, Alice teacups. You could also see the rabbit right there. Here, you can see the letter A that is um, surrounded by very detailed design. And so that is the pattern of the purple dress. It's also on her sleeves right here. See, there's another layer of the shoulder right there. On the side of the arm, you can see these sewn in dots. And on the other sleeve, same thing. So very, very detailed outfit. So I love this movie also, the Alice Through the Looking Glass, and just her character in general, how she is curious and she's adventurous. Last but not least is my Disney fairy tale designer collection, and the only one that I have in a series, obviously, is Kristoff and Anna from Frozen, which are two of my favorite characters. So on the box here, you can see that it has this cardstock cover with the concept art or illustration of both of them when the trolls were trying to marry them.
down below here is like this plastic with golden design there is a nameplate that says anna and christoph it has their flower from arundel let's go ahead and take off this cover here's the back of the box and as you can see there's a really big crocus flower which is the name of the their um, official flower there in arundel so here's Kristoff and Anna in their wedding outfits. So this doll series has this like plastic or like hard plastic cover. So as you can see, Anna's face is very detailed. She's wearing this crown with jewels that the trolls made for her. And she has jewels also on the cloak part of her outfit. She has her gloves and her bright blue dress with flowers embroidered on it and her boots are in there then we also have Kristoff right behind her with his golden hair and also wedding outfit with a red sort of belt right there He's also wearing gloves the only thing with this series or with this specific all set the hair piece that Kristoff is supposed to wear is behind the box as you can see right here Here's the top of the box. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I do plan on doing an updated Disney doll collection that are just regular Disney dolls that I have all the way up there because I made one like years ago and I wanted just to do an updated one. So watch out for that video. And if you love Disney like I do, please click thumbs up and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can get notified next time I upload a new video. Until next time, have courage and be kind.